match day one from the UEFA Europa League took place earlier on Thursday. And for many Liverpool fans, it was an unfamiliar sight to see their beloved Reds in this year's tournament. Group E is where we'll start. In the early kickoff on Sportsmax, Liverpool travelled to Austria to take on Lask. We have the highlights. So away we go. It is Liverpool who get things moving on a run of four wins in a row. Timikas again. Floated nicely. Doesn't reach Van Dijk. Nearly did. Chance now. And it's a corner for Lask. Elliot could bring it under his spell. Out to the edge of the box. Flecker waiting for that one. Oh, Flecker scored! And oh, what a great strike it was! Look how easily they were caught out here. All went into the box. Flecker stayed out of it. One touch to set. And then that. Nobody got close enough to stop him. Van Dijk getting ready to try and make contact with this corner. Here he is at the back. Saved by Lavar. Darwin Nunez thought it equalised. Elliot. Here's by Cetic. Blocked but not away. And he's given a penalty to the referee here. Luis Diaz went down. Lass can't believe it. He didn't make contact with the ball. He did get a bit of Luis Diaz. Nunez scores and Liverpool are level. Endo robbed. Good challenge from Jewel. Harbel has a look and a shot. Keller has got it away. But it... Up goes Lukaneda. Where's that gone? Nobody knows. It's on the floor. It's Lubicic. What a wonderful block by the left boot of Keller. Gravenberg, Gomez trying to support, really good ball in, oh what a fine goal, that has flowed into the last net, Luis Diaz with the finish. It's a boss line, it doesn't matter what team Jürgen Klopp fields, it happens again and again, there's Darwin Nunez, here's Mo Salah, Mo Salah gets through the gap, oh and finds another one, poking it through the legs of Laval. Right on cue they do. So Lask at half time we're thinking about what might be. Could have been a really famous night in their history. Yes, so Liverpool having fallen behind in the 14th minute produced three second half goals courtesy of Darwin Nunes, Luis Diaz and Mohamed Salah to come away with a 3-1 win. Brent Sancho is our football correspondent on duty today and he joins us to recap the action from today's Europa League. Brent, how are you doing? I'm great. Thank you very much, Ricardo. And I promise I would not put any of your property up for bet today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate yeah. that. Although you could have put some on Liverpool, despite not starting the strongest team, they went behind after 14 minutes, but their quality really showed in that second half. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a fourth game out of five this season where they've had to come from behind after conceding early. Uh, despite it not being the regular starting lineup that we've seen from Liverpool uh, throughout the season, it's still quite a strong lineup. Of course, that was uh, captained by uh, Virgil van Dijk. But give last credit, uh, they made it very, very tough uh, for Liverpool. Uh, you know, Thursday Thursday night games are normally quite tough for the top tier teams in, in Europe, especially in England, when they have to come across and play in this Europa tournament. Uh, of course, Liverpool is a team that. Uh, has uh, graced the Champions League for many, many years and been very successful. So coming out on a Thursday was difficult and last made sure that they, they recognised that uh, Thursday night is always going to be difficult. Yeah, that 14th minute opener for Lask. I want you to talk us through that goal, um, Brent. Um, just take us through that opening goal. Well, it was a, a, an unbelievable strike and it, it really came... Uh, from, uh, you, you know, good play from Lask. I mean, the, the touch is first, first draw. Uh, and the finish gave, uh, of course, the keeper Keller absolutely no chance. Uh, it's a strike that I don't think any Liverpool defender in the box expected. 
Uh, it was a very clean hit, but it was nothing short than what last deserved. They, they really played well in the first half and, and they gave as much as they got uh, and they made it very, very difficult. At that point, Ricardo, you know, there was a feeling that if they performed similarly in the second half, they could, of course, get uh, a famous victory. Yeah, of course, that victory was not to come. Liverpool uh, taking charge, a number of changes made by Jurgen Klopp in that second half. And for the most part, they worked. Uh, Mohamed Salah, uh, one of those coming on as well and impacting the game. Yeah, and the quality really shone through. And, and it, it, it's, an, it's an indictment to the type of signings that Liverpool has uh, been able to make this season. Uh, a lot of times, uh, we, 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 we've heard from Jurgen Klopp in previous years about the depth of his squad and the lack thereof. Uh, and obviously now, uh, he has that ability to make those sorts of uh, pedigree changes that just took the game away from Lask. And I think that was the difference, uh, especially in the middle of the park. And of course, when Salah came in a little bit later on, uh, that certainly was a bit too much uh, for the men from Austria. Uh, as much as I can give them credit for what they've been able to do uh, in that particular game, uh, what Liverpool what Liverpool have in terms of an entire unit uh, is, is certainly superb. And, and, of course, we've seen that so far in the way they've started the EPL. All right, Brent, let's head across to Group A, where last season's Europa Conference League champions West Ham hosted a Serbian team back at Apola. Which also contains Olympiakos and Freiburg. And the forward charge is from Stolic finding Ivanovic. And the shot is a very comfortable save for Fabianski. Aaron Cresswell's cross. So danger here. Kera, good save. Really good save with his legs by Nicolas Simic. Goalkeeper Simic. Reacting with his feet to make the save. Looking for four now as it was anticipated and cut out momentarily by Kuvelic and deflecting wide. It's to Mateo Djordjevic, but he did well. Ward Prowse. Ogbonna. Ogbonna has lost it and they're in real trouble here. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Petar Stanic has fired TSC Bachka Topola into the most unlikely. Danny Ings, Ben Rama, Kudus in the middle, Ben Rama, good feet, and Kudus is there! And Mohamed Kudus equalizes for West Ham. Kera. Glance behind for a West Ham corner carefully. Defender needs to be very careful there as the corner comes in. It's glanced on and in. And Kudus has got his goal this time. And West Ham have scored twice in the space of about four minutes. Bin Ram. It's a corner. And in from Thomas Socek. Jumping in front of Marco Rakonyats, who just come on wearing 97. Socek got the touch. It's a very good header. And West Ham, the holders of the UEFA Conference League, are off and running in the Europa League. Yeah, 10 points from their first five games in the English Premier League and they get a victory of West Ham to start their Europa League campaign. Brent, as a former defender, how annoyed do you get when you see an error like the one made by Ogbonna today? Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, something that you don't like to see. You know, it's unfortunate. Uh, it does happen in the game. Um, but, um, look, I, I think if the have that experience and what he's done for the club, uh, he could be forgiven for it. But it's, uh, it came at such a wrong time, and that's why I'm smoking, because they, they really struggled, West Ham, to find fluidity and, and some coherence in the game. Uh, and I think when the error came, it, it just made it worse. Uh, and as a defender, despite all of the errors that, uh, that might happen up front, when you make that type of error that he did, yeah, uh, you know, you, you, you make life very, very difficult uh, for your team.
Yeah, and of course, uh, at that stage, West Ham going behind. They were behind for another 20 minutes after that, but they would find the equaliser. Kudis thought he had the first goal, but the 23-year-old Ghanaian scored 17 goals for Ajax, and he impacted today's game, was um, a significant part of the turnaround for West Ham, Mohamed Kudis. Yeah, I think his his impact, of course, the, the, the bringing uh, Michael Antonio also coming on to make it two up front. Uh, but Kudos and his direct play, uh, running at players, uh, really changed the format of the, uh, the way the, uh, the game was going. Uh, of course, uh, TSC defended very, very deeply, but now they're able to penetrate. Uh, and Ward Prowse and, of course, and his capabilities from dead balls as well uh, was a big reason for, for West Ham turning around. But again, you know, these Thursday night games, managers tend to think they need to make a whole host of changes because of all the changes. I think there's about nine changes West Ham made into their uh, starting lineup tonight. And I think when you make those sort of changes, it does have an impact, as I said, in the fluidity and the, and the team chemistry and the way they want to play. Uh, but credit to the ones that we just mentioned because of their influence, West Ham was able to turn things around. Yeah, in 25 seconds, Brent, talk to me about Mikhail Antonio. He got three pretty good looks at goal and wasn't able to convert on any of them. Yeah, he would be disappointed that he didn't uh, hit the back of the net. But I think his overall play, his presence up front, he is a focal point uh, and he brings a lot to this West Ham team. I think that in particular he would be happy with. I'm sure uh, David Moyes would be happy with that as well and what he was able to contribute. Yeah, thanks very much, Brent. It was a pleasure speaking with you as usual and lots of football over the next many, many months. So we'll be chatting a lot here on the Sportsmax Zone. Uh, let's close out this segment then by having a look at uh, the results from today's Europa League. All of 16 matches you'll see there. Uh, a victory for Renz over Maccabi Haifa. Uh, last losing to Liverpool. Leverkusen with an impressive 4-0 victory. Um, Karabag 1-0 over Malde, Union St. Julia um, getting, well, a 1-0 draw with uh, Toulouse. Slavia Praha, 2-0 victory for them. Roma getting, got to the final last season. They start with a 2-1 victory over Sheriff. 2-0 for Panathinaikos over Villarreal. And we'll see the second portion, Atalanta. A 2-0 victory for them. Sporting also got a 2-1 victory. Ajax and Marseille, that was a really good one. 3-0, that one ended. Rangers 1-0 over Real Betis. Olympiacos losing 2-3 to Freiburg. Brighton, they lost 2-3 to Ajax Athens. And João Pedro scoring a couple of goals for Brighton, but not enough. Sparta Prague, 3-2 victory for them. And at the bottom there, West Ham winning by Three goals to one over Baka Tapola. And, of course, the Jamaican international, Mikhail Antonio, coming on and, as Brent pointed out, having an impact. We'll be back with more on the Sports Mag Zone.